Hi guys, this is Pavetra again. Uh, I'm creating this video to show you all that how you can create a very professional looking brand or a post design within Canva. So let me take you to the process. So you can create any design. Here I have taken the dimensions as Instagram design. So you will add a new page. So what I have done is I have uh, got these two pictures. They both have backgrounds and you can use, you can import them and then it has got background. So what you need is you need a picture without background. So you will go to effects tab and use background remover tool by Canva. As you know, it only takes a few seconds. Look, this has removed the background so you can keep it here and then so what we will do is we will uh, import this design as well we will use the same steps to remove the background from this design as well so we have got these two tools I have gone to elements and I will search for cube white cube so white cube is something you will find here so this looks like quite good for my design I'll import it here so we will use it I'll keep it here maybe make it smaller uh, to the size of uh, you know let's keep it here so at the moment if you will so you know with the command plus right hand bracket you can bring it forward so I have brought it forward or you can go from here and bring, bring it forward or backwards so here it's backward and you can bring it forward so technically I have placed this bag over this cube already and now the design if we look at this design which I have created there are two way two methods how we can do it so what you can do is you can keep this lower part as white if you want and then you can just bring another um, element which is uh, shapes so you can bring the shape and see how bigger the shape you want and then make it a background so the color we have chosen here is color from my Equitas media my company so we we tend to use some light pale colors this is now your background now it's very you just have to make alignments make changes and then you know make it look a little bit better so you would like to make it bigger let's do it this way and maybe make it bigger as well and then bring this one forward and probably reduce this size on the side so we can work on this one properly so you can increase the size of this one so it really it's it's just a matter of showing you how you can uh, change the dimensions and quickly you might like to fill this background with some sort of uh, plant so we can say indoor plants indoor plant cutout which I've just used it before so you can pick up any indoor plant from here and try to use a cutout uh, I have used this one already so you can it's, it's just a matter of where you want to place it um, you can place it here if you want and then take it backwards and to change the change the colors of this cube you can go and change the colors if you like but I think at this stage it looks very nice and clean and tidy design and we don't need to do much apart from it this design is already complete if you want it to kind of um, in this state but to enhance the design you can add a bit of shadows so that is a little bit of trick tip and trick uh, situation with canva so let's add shapes or maybe shades to this particular uh, object what you have to do is to add shades you know that you can copy it so you will copy it from here now this one you want to go to effects tab or maybe you want to change the color of this object so you can use and change the color and then this shadow will be a little bit green but 
what you can also do is you can go to filters and make it black and white now this shadow will be if you if you put it back behind this um, this object if you send it to back and then it already started looking like a shade where so what you will do is you will go into adjust and you will blur this a little bit now you can see it is blurred and you can adjust it according to you will have to come back and forward a couple of times and then you can adjust it so now you can send it backwards and now you can see it looks a lot better shade and if you want you can make it you can increase the size of the blur to make it more subtle and if you also don't want to keep it that dark what you can do is you can select and then reduce the opacity to make it a little bit less intense so by doing that you send it backwards now you can see this shade is a lot better in the same way you will follow the same process you will go to um, you will copy it and then adjust it sorry you'll go to filters make it black and white adjust increase the let's say keep it 22 let's see how it looks like and then you will send it backwards now you can see it has already created a shade you can adjust the, sh the shade uh, as much as you want first you have to select this one make a copy of it go to filter make it black and white adjust the blur let's increase the blur to 30 and then send it to backwards So now it looks like very clean nice design you can go into text and maybe let's say online sale you want to add so possibly you go to this one add your message here maybe make it a little bit smaller well i hope you like this video and the steps and if you need any further help with the design or social media marketing i'm a social media marketer but i understand the design really well because it is very much important these days in this chaos that you learn to do a good designing so happy to help with the canva tutorials photoshop or even social media marketing tools please feel free to subscribe to my channel and like it share it with friends i'll keep creating more videos for you guys. Thank you.